I called up Dane and I said, hi, this is Gary Douglas. I said, I need to see you now. He says, okay, well, I, I can fit you in if you can be here in 20 minutes. Done. I'll see you in 20 minutes. So I went to his office and I walked in and I said, okay, so network chiropractic, number one and number two don't work on me. Number three is the only thing that works on me. I need you to do the level, you know, can you do three? And he goes, uh, well, I've uh, just started that course. And I said, well, do what you can. And and it's like, and for some reason I got that he could do this. And I said to him, so what I'd like you to do is talk to my body and do whatever it tells you. Because it will tell you what to do. And he goes, oh, okay. And so I laid down on the table and he did level one instantaneously. He did level two instantaneously. And then he started going, now what do I do? And he said, okay, so body, what? Are, and it's like, and he started backing up and getting further away and he started doing things. And I started flopping on the table like a fish out of water. And I was going, holy shit, what's this guy doing to me? And it's like, but I knew it was helping. It's like at the end of the session, he, I set up and I went, holy fuck, I'm gonna live, you fucker. You know, God damn it, I'm gonna live. Okay, good. So I said, okay, God, can I please have him? Because I knew I was gonna need more of this guy and what he could do. And then he started talking to me and we discovered that he had, he was right on page and right on target and knew exactly how to do things. And it was just great to have this man save my life, which he's done three times now. And, <laughs> and to be able to follow what my body told him. And that's, not many people can do that. Having this man who could do this was a great miracle in my life. And I consider him to be a miracle in my life even today because he just keeps on trucking and keeps on moving and keeps on finding greater ways to help me and everybody else we know. Given that the first ESB session that ever occurred in the world was me, <laughs> me working, working on, on me. you, yeah. you know, and what you said to me was, ask my body what it wants, follow the energy, you will know what to do. Yeah. You were the first person in all of the techniques I'd ever done that said I would know what to do and that I would know anything, really. And it opened up this floodgate of awarenesses that I didn't know that I had. And also this sense of peace and being able to just know that I could do it. And also I knew that if I screwed it up, that would be fine too, because of the space you were coming from. And, and I knew you couldn't screw it up. You know, and it, it's been really interesting for me over the last 18 years with us working really closely together in access. And also as I explored these ESB energies and what was available with this, to be able to work on someone, for example, that may have been abused as an example, and see the, the change occur right then in their level of peace, in their level of ease in their life, and then be able to go back to Gary and go, Gary, okay, here's what happened, and, and what I would do is I would tell him the energy of it, and he would help me formulate some words around it and oftentimes, whatever I'd just done with that person would become part of access and we could help people verbally as well as, as, well as energetically. Energetically. And the thing is that the truth is that consciousness includes the energetics and the verbal. And it's not one or the other. And it's not about one is greater than the other. It's like each one of them is necessary for us all to gain everything we're capable of. And this has been a venue for, a venue for exploring that because if you... If, let's say you're not that good with putting things into words, or some people are really good at putting things into words, but both of those are, are not only allowed, but they're embraced as a way of creating more for each yeah. person and more possibilities. This is really what we want to create with the entire world, more. It's like, how do we create a place where more is the greatest choice, the greatest possibility? Nothing else is that important. It's the energetic synthesis of being. The thing is that we have all these separations that we start out with. Yeah, it's exactly what I and it's like, them. And it's like what I noticed with what Dane does is he manages to bring those all those disparate parts into being part of a whole so that you don't feel like you're falling apart or you're 
falling together or you're falling anything, you have choice. Their being becomes yeah. more of a gift where it's like they, you know, when Gary talks about the proprioception changing, it's like they actually have them in the world instead of being a continuous resistance and reaction to everything around them. Oh, that's the other thing it does. It takes away the resistance or reaction. It does still allow them to do alignment and agreement, but it takes away the resistance or reaction and opens the door to greater possibility. Yeah. They no longer do that intense level of judgment of themselves. It's like they walk around going, oh, I'm okay. You know, and can they intensely, you know, can they intensely uh, judge others? <laughs> they usually don't. Yeah, I know. You know, <laughs> they could. Yes. Yes. Probably more probably intensely yes. because they have more access to their, you know, their potency yeah. they naturally have. But when you're not in a state of judgment of you, when you actually are enjoying you, grateful for you, grateful for the people around yeah. you, well, that gratitude for you starts to create the space of gratitude for the people around you, gratitude for your life, gratitude for what you've created. And really you get to walk around in a space of gratitude instead of judgment. I mean, you get to be happier? That. That's disgusting. I know, it's terrible. But it's part of what you get.